Hi, I'm Darren Ferrugia and welcome. So in this video, which is kind of like the third of the three videos, I guess that makes it a trilogy. Um, in this video, I'll be discussing the six stroke pattern that we've been working on for the last two lessons. In the previous two lessons, we looked at that uh, sticking pattern as triplets. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that sticking pattern and superimpose that on top of 16th notes instead of triplets. Now because it's a 12 note cycle or a 12 note grouping, if you play that pattern twice, uh, that'll give us one bar of 3-4. So let me play that for you. Just remember that the sticking is right, right, left, right, left, left. And we're going to count 16th notes in 3-4. 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 1E and a 2E. So what I'll do is I'll take that same sticking pattern and I'll use the previous orchestration that I've used, which is basically to put the right hand on the right cymbal, left hand on the snare, and we're going to accent that left hand single. So I'm going to count you in a bar of 3, 4, 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a. And then just to complete this idea, um, adding a bass drum to the right hand double. So this is what we end up with. 1, 2, 3. Now, a lot of us don't always play in 3-4, and so what I want to do with this is actually just learn to play it across 4-4. Four, four. So let's make up a real simple fill. We've got this bar of 3-4. In order to make it a bar of 4-4, four, four, we just have to add an extra beat, and so that extra beat is going to be um, right, left, right, left. 16th notes, right, left, right, left. So this is what we get in 4-4. Four, four. One, two, three, four. That's our bar of 4-4. Four, four. So let me put that in the context of um, some time in 4-4. Four, four. One, two, three, four. In order to make it a longer fill, we can play it across two bars of 4-4. Four, four. So let's hear how that's going to sound. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So what I'm having to do there is add two sixteenth notes to the very end of the second bar just to complete it as two bars of 4-4. Four, four. Let's have a listen to that in context. I'm going to play two bars of time and then two bars of that fill. One, two, three, four. And as you heard me play just then, you can um, orchestrate that left hand accent to the other drums as well. It doesn't have to be just the snare drum. Let's add a right hand accent in this as well now. So I can put that right hand accent um, on another tom, so I can do this. One, two, three.
So what I'm gonna do now is take that two bar version that's in four four as 16th notes, and I'm now gonna play that as one bar of 32nd notes. So effectively, I'm just doubling the speed of it. So this is gonna give me a one bar fill. So I'm gonna play um, a bar of time, and then I'm gonna play that pattern um, as 32nd notes. And it'll just be a two bar cycle. And I'm gonna slow the tempo down a little bit. One, two, three, four. Also, you don't have to necessarily finish with those two 16th notes or 32nd notes at the end. I'm talking about that right left. What I'm trying to say here is that you don't always need to resolve this fill or any fill for that matter on beat one. For example, I could take this fill and actually resolve it on the upbeat. So I'm going to use the 32nd note version. One, two, three. I really like the um, sort of suspended feeling you get without always having to plant, you know, the, the strong accent on beat one. So it's a really nice effect to not always resolve on the downbeat. Anyway, I hope that's a pattern that you can go home and have a little bit of fun with. Um, I've heard some great drummers play this over the years and it's a great, uh, it's a great uh, variation on this pattern that we've been learning for the last couple of weeks. If you like this video, hit the like button, thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, as I always say, I'm uploading content every week. So hit the notification bell so that you know when I've uploaded a video. And uh, until next week, I shall see you soon and uh, happy practicing. Bye. Man, it's so hot in here. Woo.